like to, I'd like to give a prize away in the playtime range for any trial. <laughs> Because souffle should not be overcooked because it's become almost like a pudding. So we need to be nice and fluffy inside. So we cut it up nice and gooey, as you can see from the outside. And we're just going to drip it a little bit of lovely vanilla custard inside. Just to give it a nice texture. Cheers to your eyes, eh? OK. A perfect winter dessert. Winter bread souffle. Perfect indeed from a perfect artisier. Eric, thank you so much. That Pleasure. Looks Delicious. Or mascarpone cheese or creme fraiche to go with it, you know, just to cut down a bit the sweetness of the uh, apricot. So, a very traditional French classic like uh, Mama used to make uh, tart apricot, jalousy, and no jalousy to be at all on this one. So, jealous, uh, so a round of applause. Hi, I'm Willie Harcourt Coos, I'm the chocolate man from cakes to patisserie, I do it all. I love it, it's fantastic. I mean, what I'm really impressed with is the food show is phenomenal. You know, people really buy into the food. Everyone's walking around with carry bags because they're taking home the dream to cook in their kitchen. Uh, it's amazing. I mean, I think, you know, it's great. For me, it's a great opportunity, you know, to tell my message uh, of real chocolate, of, you know, of chocolate with flavor. And, you know, it's a great opportunity to put that message across. South Africa is, you know, it's a cosmopolitan friendly country, you know, I mean, and on top of that, it's fantastic weather. You know, it's most definitely the kind of place you'd want to come back to. Oh, you know, I have, I have, you know, I have love affairs with so many recipes. Um, you know, right now it's it's a classic chocolate mousse with a bitter chocolate case. You know, I am going to do classic chocolate mousse with a bitter chocolate case, uh, and that's made with the bitter case made is was made with Sambriano 71 from Madagascar, uh, and then the inside the mousse I made with an Indonesian 69, and that play on those two different flavours really tell the story of chocolate. I hope that I hope that when I leave, you know, I, I, I've come here to the good food, food, good food, good food and wine show, you know, to, to pass a little bit of something I've got to take people on a journey of flavours from bean to bar. And I've bought raw beans from Venezuela, roasted shell beans, 100%, and chocolate, all made of the same bean. You know, to take people on that journey, so people can, you know, understand the journey the cocoa bean takes to getting to become chocolate, and also so they can open their eyes to the flavour uh, of real chocolate. And you know, I'm making chocolate that reflects the bean. I'm, I'm really just a sort of catalyst uh, in the equation. One of the most exciting things was on my last visit was hooking up with Woolworths, who are a great store, chain of stores, who are real foodies. You know, and I've launched the chocolate in Woolworths in the cooking section and in the in the chocolate section. So I'm doing my cooking and my sweets. So I, I'm a happy man from that point of view. 